Yes, sir, Bob. Here we are with chapter two, lesson number 10, implicit differentiation two, the equation of a tangent. Make sure you have looked at that first lesson, implicit differentiation, and you already know how to do that before you're moving on to this next lesson. This is looking at the equation of a tangent, and that is something that we have already come across before. In higher maths, we learned how to find the equation of a tangent to a curve. Smilty, help me out. How do you get the equation of a tangent to a curve? Think back to higher maths. What's the first thing that you would do if you had the equation of a curve? How would you get the equation of the tangent? Well, you would differentiate. Good, you would differentiate, perfect. So you take the equation and you differentiate. What is the point in differentiating? Mark, why would we differentiate? Well, I believe that would give you the gradient. Yes, you're right, if you differentiate, what you would get is a formula for the gradient. And then how would you actually work out the gradient, Mark? You would substitute in the point. Yes, you would sub in the point. So. First of all, differentiate, then sub in the point to get the equation of the, to get the gradient. And then after that, what would you then do? Abby? Y minus B equals M bracket X minus I. Perfect. You would then, you've got the gradient, you've got a point, so then you can sub that into the equation. Perfect. What we're now going to do is apply that to implicit differentiation. Yeah. So let's try that then. Two examples, example one of two. Example one, a curve is defined by the implicit equation x squared plus y squared plus 2x take away 4y equals 15. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point 3, 4. So using just what we went through, the way you would do it in higher maths, you want to do the exact same thing. So step one, we want to differentiate. So differentiating x squared plus y squared plus 2x take away 4y equals 15. Again, this is implicit differentiation. We do not have to rearrange this to get y equals. We can just differentiate from there. Eduarda, help us out. What would you get then? Good, so x squared would go to 2x if you differentiate it. Perfect. y squared, if you differentiate that, good, it would go to 2y. But what would you need, Eduarda? Good, you'd need a dy by dx because we're differentiating y with respect to x. Excellent. If you differentiate 2x, that would go to 2. And if you differentiate negative 4y, that would go to negative 4. But again, because you're differentiating y with respect to x, you need dy by dx. Excellent. And if you differentiate 15, that stays as 15, yes? No, that would go to zero. Perfect. From there then, if you notice every single term here is divisible by two, so let's divide by two. Let's give us ourselves easier numbers. From there, well, if we are differentiating, we need to then sub in that point. But first thing we want to do is we want to get dy by dx just on its own. So rearrange this to get dy by dx equals and then sub in the point to get the gradient. So keep dy by dx just on the left hand side, but any term without a dy by dx, move it to the other side. So subtract x from both sides and subtract one from both sides. And that'll give us then y dy by dx, take away two dy by dx. Those terms are just going to stay there, but we're moving the x over and we're moving that one over. So subtract x from both sides, subtract one from both sides. From there, here, what would you do, Liam? Yeah, highest common factor, or the common factor of dy by dx. So take out dy by dx as a common factor, and then we'd have y take away two, and that would equal negative x take away one. We want to find what dy by dx is equal to, so from here, divide both sides by y take away two. So we've got negative x take away one over y take away two. Perfect, well done, people. So we have dy by dx. What we can now do then is find the gradient. And we know the derivative dy by dx is really our gradient, but we can find the gradient at this point three, four by subbing in that point to this. So let's go over the page and let's do that. dy by dx equals negative x take away one over y take away two. That's what we just had. And we can sub in the point that we are given the three, four to find what the gradient will be. So replace x with three and replace y with a four. That will then give us negative four over two. And if you work out negative four divided by two, well, that's negative two.
That means then that the gradient of the tangent will be negative 2. Ooh, would you look at that. From there, well, we've got the gradient of the tangent. We know that it's going through that point 3, 4. So how would you get the equation, Miko A? Perfect. Y minus B equals M bracket X minus A. So sub in the values. So you've got Y take away B, Y take away 4 equals M, which is the gradient, negative 2 bracket X take away A, which is 3. From there, if you multiply out the brackets on the right, and then if you add 4 to both sides, you will get an answer of Y equals negative 2X plus 10. Yeah. Example 2. A curve is defined by the implicit equation 2x squared take away 3xy take away y squared equals 1. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve at that point, 2, 1. So the first thing you want to think is for the equation of a tangent, think gradient point equation. We've got the point, but we need to find the gradient. To get the gradient, we need to differentiate. How would you differentiate this? What would you do, Amy? Yeah, I suppose you could just go straight into differentiation. You're perfectly right. We don't have to rearrange it. We're just going to use our implicit differentiation. Differentiating the 2x squared, that's dead easy. Differentiating the y squared, again, dead easy. But here we've got a 3xy. How would we differentiate that? Piper. Perfect. We would have to use the product rule because we've got one function times another function as a product of two functions as a product, product rule. Ah! Let's do that then. So u is going to be, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put brackets around this and I'm going to treat that as take away whatever this will be. So u is going to be 3x and v is going to be y. If you differentiate u, you would get u dash. Differentiate 3x with respect to x, you get 3. If you differentiate y with respect to x, Piper, good, you would get 1 dy by dx. Perfect. From there then, differentiate 2x squared, that'll give us a 4x. We are taking away, and then remember, put brackets around u dash v plus u v dash. If you do that, you're going to have 3 times y plus 3x times dy by dx. Again, keep the brackets around that. And then you're taking away, and if you differentiate y squared, that'll become 2y, but we need dy by dx because we're differentiating y with respect to x. And differentiate 1, it would go to 0. Perfect. From there, what I would do is I would multiply out these brackets. So I would have a 4x take away 3y, and then that would also be take away 3x dy by dx, and the rest would just stay as it is. Really what I want to do is I want to find out what dy by dx is, so keep any terms with dy by dx on the left hand side and move everything else to the right hand side. So do that by thinking 4x, there's no dy by dx there, so let's subtract 4x from both sides. The negative 3y, let's add 3y to both sides, and then that'll leave us on the left, negative 3x dy by dx, take away 2y dy by dx, equals 3y, take away 4x. So I've added 3y to both sides and I'm taking away 4x from both sides. From there, where would you go next, Pavel? Perfect. You would take out dy by dx as a common factor. Take out dy by dx and you'd be left with the negative 3x and a take away 2y. On the right hand side, still 3y take away 4x. Or if you have negative 4x, add 3y, it's the same thing. From there, dy by dx, you want that on its own, so divide both sides by negative 3x, take away 2y, and we now have what dy by dx is equal to. Again, thinking back, we want the equation of a tangent. For the equation of a tangent, that's a straight line, gradient point equation. The gradient, well, we, that's what we're wanting to find. And you do that by subbing in this point, the 2, 1, into this equation for the gradient. Let's do that over the page. So from this then, as I said, you would sub in the 2, 1 into dy by dx to find the gradient. If you do that, replace x with 2, replace y with 1, and that will give us negative 5 divided by negative 8, which just becomes 5 over 8. That means then that the gradient of this tangent that we are working out is 5 eighths. After that, think gradient point equation. Gradient, we've got it, it's 5 eighths. Tick, point, we know the point's 2, 1. Tick, we've got that as well. And we then we just want the equation. And the equation, Connor, you got it, is going to be y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. So you'd have y take away 1 equals the gradients 5 eighths bracket x take away 2. 
From there, what I would probably do is move this 8 to the other side and multiply both sides by 8. So multiply the y and the negative 1 by 8. Just get rid of the fraction. So 8 times y is 8y. Take away 8 equals 5x. Take away 10 if you multiply out the brackets. Then you can rearrange that so you get 8y equals 5x. Take away 2. You could divide everything by 8. So y equals 5x. Take away 2 over 8. Or you could take everything to one side and set it equal to 0. So 8y take away 5x plus 2 equals 0. You can write it different ways as long as you gather all your like terms. That is implicit differentiation and that is us working out the equation of a tangent using implicit differentiation. Try these questions in the workbook. They are on page 34. Let me know if you have any issues. Best of luck. Have fun. Bye.